Friendship bracelets can be a fun craft that lets you express your creativity and a lovely way to show a friend that you care about them. Today we are going to show you how to make three different types of friendship bracelets that you can make for friends or family. To make friendship bracelets, you'll need a few materials. The first thing that you will need is embroidery or bracelet string. This thin thread can be found at any craft store or at most department stores. You'll want a variety of colors so that you have options to choose your color palette for each bracelet. You'll also need scissors, tape, and a ruler or tape measure. The first bracelet that we are going to teach you how to make today is the spiral staircase. This bracelet is best for very beginners, so if this is your first time making friendship bracelets, this one is for you. Begin by selecting several colors of thread. There's no limit to the number of colors you can use, but you'll need to choose at least two different colors to get started. The more colors of string you have, the thicker your bracelet will be. Once you've chosen your colors, measure your string. We recommend measuring out about five feet of each color of string that you'll be using. Next, line up all your string so that it starts and ends at the same places. Ideally, all your string should be the same length when you line it up like this. Take all your thread and fold it in half. Once it's folded, tie a simple knot close to the top of the halfway point to make a small loop like you see here. This will be where you will start making your bracelet from. Tape the loop down to the surface that you are working on. To make the spiral staircase bracelet, you need to know how to make only one type of knot which we will show you how to make now. This is the basic bracelet making knot and is called a forwards knot. Start by separating one piece of string from the others. Whatever color you choose here will be the first color of your bracelet. Take the thread to the left of all your other bracelet strings and making the shape of a four or a sailboat, you want to cross the string over top of the rest of the strings just like you see here. Then, you want to take the side of the thread that is now to the right of all the other threads and loop it under all the other threads through the middle of your four shape. Finally, holding the rest of the strings tightly downward, you're going to pull the thread straight upwards towards the starting loop of your bracelet and pull tight. Let's show you that knot once more. After you finish the knot by pulling up, the string will have returned to its starting position and you can begin again with the same color string and the exact same type of knot. After you do it several times, you will begin to get the hang of how to do each type of knot. Repeat this knot with your first color of string. We recommend doing about 20 knots per string color, but if you want to get your color sections to be shorter, you can do less than 20 knots, or if you want them to be longer, you can do more. Either way, you want to try to do about the same number of knots per color if you're trying to get all the sections to appear to be the same length. As you go, you will begin to notice that your knots are starting to spiral around the rest of the threads, which is why the bracelet is called the spiral staircase. Once you've completed the first 20 knots, it's time to switch colors. Let go of the string color that you had used for your first color and pick up whatever color you will want to appear next on your bracelet. Then, begin doing forward knots around the rest of the strings using your new string color. Do 20 more forward knots and then switch colors again. Continue to follow in this order all the way down your bracelet until it is long enough to wrap around the wrist of the person you want to tie it onto. Once you've completed your spiral staircase the whole way down your bracelet, you can tie a knot to secure it and then tie it onto the wrist of the person who you made it for. The second bracelet that we are going to show you how to make today is the pinstripe. This bracelet is best for intermediate beginners. If you have mastered the art of the spiral staircase, then you're ready to make this pinstripe bracelet. The pinstripe bracelet uses the same forward knot that we taught you how to make with the spiral staircase bracelet, so make sure you're familiar with that knot before beginning. To begin making your pinstripe bracelet, choose two or more colors of string and cut each piece of string to be about as long as your arm span. You can use as few as two strings of each of your colors. The more strings you add, the thicker your stripes will be. Once you have cut all your strings to the same length, fold them in half and tie a knot just below the fold, which will make a loop. Tape the loop down and you're ready to begin. Start by separating all your colors from left to right. The color that is on the left will be your starting color. Take the string that is furthest to the left and do a forwards knot, tying it over the string that is immediately beside it.
Repeat again to complete the knot. Using the same string, continue to do forward knots over every string in your bracelet from left to right until you have no more strings to tie. In doing this, your original string will have made its way all the way across all the strings in your bracelet and will now be furthest to the right where you can let it go. Repeat this pattern starting once again with the string that is furthest to the left, tying it in forward knots across all other strings until it becomes the furthest to the right. If you accidentally tie your forward knot over the wrong string, don't worry, you can always untie whatever knots you have made. To achieve a very even look with your bracelet, try to be consistent with how tight you are tying the knots. Continue to repeat this the whole way down your bracelet until your bracelet has reached your desired length and congrats! you've completed a beautiful pinstripe bracelet. The third bracelet that we are going to show you how to make today is the chevron. This bracelet is perfect for intermediates who have made one or two pinstripe bracelets and feel confident in their bracelet making skills. For this bracelet, you are going to need to learn how to do a new type of knot, the backwards knot. A backwards knot is the same as a forwards knot, but instead of going from left to right, it goes from right to left. Take the thread to the right of your other bracelet strings, and making the shape of a backwards four or a sailboat, you want to cross the string over top all the rest of the strings, just like you see here. Then, you want to take the side of the thread that is now to the left of the other thread, and loop it under the other thread through the middle of your backwards four shape. Finally, holding the rest of the strings tightly downward, you're going to pull the thread straight upwards towards the starting loop of your bracelet and pull tight. You'll use the backwards knot soon. The chevron bracelet uses the same setup as the pinstripe bracelet, except that when you're laying out your strings before you begin tying your knots, instead of arranging them by color, you want to arrange them so that they are symmetrical or as though there was a mirror in the middle of them. Here you can see, we have the left side reflecting the right side, with the turquoise strings on the outside, then the dark blue, then the light blue, and the white closest to the middle. To begin, starting on the left side, you're going to do forward knots with your first string, just as you would with the pinstripe, but stop when you are in the middle. In this case, the middle is between the two white strings. Next, you're going to pick up the string that is furthest to the right of your bracelet, and do backward knots over all the strings from right to left until it reaches the middle of your bracelet. Then, you are going to tie the two strings of the same color together using a backwards knot and they will become your new middle strings. Continue using the next color string in your pattern, first from the left side, then from the right side, always working inward towards the middle. Through doing this, you are slowly creating a V shape with your bracelet string. Continue working in this pattern all the way down your bracelet until you have reached your desired length and tie it off with a knot. And congrats, you've completed your chevron bracelet. And those are three fun types of bracelets that you can make. With a little practice, you can make beautiful expert jewelry to share with friends and family and express your creativity.